hello friends today in this video i am going to discuss the short story the secret shera by joseph conrad in this video i'll discuss introduction to writer his writing style the summary plot analysis and the themes symbols and characters analysis of the story so let's begin the story this is the text of the story and we'll move on to introduction to writer and his writing style Joseph Conrad born 1857 he was a Polish British writer and regarded as one of the greatest novelists to write in English language though he did not speak English fluently until his 20s he became a master prose stylist who brought a non-English sensibility in English literature Conrad wrote stories novels many with a nautical setting that depict trials of human spirits in the midst of what he saw as an impassive inscrutable universe conrad is considered an early modernist and his works contain the elements of 19th century realism even though the works of joseph conrad contain the elements of realism of 19th century and the main topics of his writing were colonialism imperialism and through his writing he intensely explored the human psyche and regarded as early modernist and he inherited a sense of patriotism from his parents and uh, never lost it during the whole life however his early experience in exile loss of family make him lonely which uh, leave a deep impact on portrayal in his writing the loneliness and need for community and intentness is another distinguished quality of conrad and the term intentness signifies something different from the concentrative quality that is often found in novels of great writers and conrad's depiction of human suffering in his works because in his life he suffered himself and he portrayed it in his writing and he appears to be raw and realist right yeah realism we discuss and he is a poet and thinker and his works are filled with humor pathos and his works are also chiefly present the sense of mystery of fate along with implicit and deep ethical elements and his mood and tone is pessimistic the story of the the summary of short story and title look at the title significance the titles refer to captain secret there was a captain we'll discuss his character as well captain secret regarding his insecurities his secret of harboring a fugitive fugitive you know that a runaway criminal you can say and that was like that like that secret of being a fugitive so what happened uh, the story begins with an unnamed captain he was on a ship boarding on a ship and rider of his first this was his first command and he was nervous and insecure about the it doubting himself and when he was bound to take a ship to england and uh, what happened that the first, uh, captain is astonished to find a uh, swimmer in floating at the end of a ladder of his ship and uh, so what he did the captain threw a rope and uh, to help this uh, swimmer uh, uh, around the ship and the man known the swimmer man his name is Legat he elects to come on board and uh, he has been rescued by the captain and there has been a mysterious communication among the captain and Luggett. And the captain is started to learn that Luggett, a young chief mate, he was a chief mate of another ship called Sephora. So he killed a man at a sea and has been held prisoner for weeks in the Sephora. And one day he, he managed to run away from that ship as if experience has been identical so the captain described the uh, luggage that uh, as if our experience have been identical so do our clothes so 
there was a resemblance between Captain and Lagat we'll see in the character analysis. So how he found the man and later when the storm subsided the seaman was dead and Lagat so Lagat was charged with the murder uh, of a man uh, on his ship. Okay, and he takes Lagat, the captain takes Lagat to his storeroom. So he keep it a secret, hide from it from his crew that uh, he is giving a refugee to a fugitive. And uh, yes, then when there, there was a visit from C Captain Archbold from Sephora to search for the fugitive. But uh, here, the captain also rescue and save Leggett but narrator goes on beyond deceptive action to protect his partner and tells lies and uh, what happens that uh, the ship so captain the captain from Archboard Sephora he go away without finding Leggett and the ship makes it way down the east side of the Gulf of Siam and uh, yes the at last among some islands of Cambodia the captain agrees to help Lagat swim to freedom and go to a shore and to surprising of the crew the captain uh, takes the ship and sail in a dangerous cruise to shore and he smuggles Lagat into cell locker and just before they shake hands and part he places his head on his other self here other self refer to Lagat and what happened the saving mark confirms the ship is sailing out of danger and with the secret stranger Lagat has been gone the captain is left alone al alone with his ship at last so this is how the story ends and character analysis the captain unknown captain unnamed captain of unnamed ship who narrates the story a young man who struggles to prove himself worthy of the command he was given a fortnight before the story begins he finds Lagat in a water hides him in cabin and keep it a secret and help him to escape and second character the Lagat secret sharer of captain's cabin Lagat was chief mate of Sephora until he instantly kill an insolent crewman during a particular tense emergency during a storm. Stripped of his command and confined to his room until he could be brought to trial in London, Leggett broke free from Sephora's confines and swam to Captain Ship and where from here he escaped and got freedom. The skipper of Sephora, another gig Character of weak man bullied by both his crew and his wife's skipper of Sephora visit the captain ship during his search for Lagat and he is easily tricked by captain in believing that Lagat drowned and chief met a vis visca man whose dominant threat was to take all things into honest consideration. And the second met another character, minor character, described by Captain as a silent young man, brave beyond his ears. The second met sneers at Captain's questions about Sephora, and he embodies the undermining of the Captain's command that plagues the Captain until he meets Lagat. The steward is there, the cook on who was a cook on board of Captain's ship at one point, and he almost discovers Lagat hidden in captain's cabin but not and themes of the story the first theme is the theme of isolation loneliness you can say so as we saw in writing style of joseph conrad he described loneliness so although the captain is technically in charge of the ship his lack of experience and young age challenge his readiness and he was not familiar with his crew, so feel insecure. And Captain narrates that all these people had been together for 18 months, and uh, or so. And my position was that of only a stranger on board, becoming a leader of a group that is already in place is a lonely experience. And and the captain accepts a 
Madara on board his ship and hides him from rest of crew and Trifil sees that the captain's imagination that is born out of his desperate need for companionship and at the end of the story we also saw that when the lagad leaves the captain was left alone and another theme is duality the captain and lagad are both young men of few words so there were some similarities between uh, captain and lagad they both wear the same sleeping suit of same size they both were trained on battleship convey both are leaders who are frustrated by their crew the captain narrates it was in the night as though i had been faced by my own reflection in depths of somba and immense mira the biggest difference between men is that they, their response to their frustration with their crew is on different ends of continuum like it gets so frustrated when a crew member is insubordinate that he kills him the captain tries to win their affection by trick taking our deities that are not typical of a captain and which is met with disrespect rather rather admiration madness is also there feeling totally isolated from your crew spending months on open sea is enough to make any person lose touch with the reality you might even say that the central question of secret chera is something like uh is the captain narrator crazy did this story actually happens the captain tells us early on that he hasn't been sleeping much cuz of stress and there's something fishy about the fact that no one on ship ever sees his friend lagat except him but again what about the crew members of safara who came looking for lagat it's enough to tie your mind in not so friendship companionship and friendship is also there as a theme and it's tough having no friends especially when you are traveling halfway around the world on a ship and uh, it's almost enough to make you create an imaginary field maybe you are getting ahead of yourself and we are not going to say one way or another uh, like it is real but in terms of what he does for the narrator of secret shera he might as well be so the captain felt uh, very comfortable with lagat and he enjoyed his company and friendship lagat gives the captain a reason to live and by end of the book the story the captain seems like totally new man and okay lagat helps touch as friendship isn't just important as necessary as food and water symbols so we analyze okay the scorpion the captain talk about a scorpion the chief mate found in a cabin and he wonder how we get on board so here you can say the scorpion is symbolic for like a dead who suddenly came on board and second symbol is the captain's head head remains in the water at the support where like it's begun his journey he passes off the head represents the merging and separation of two men captain and lagat and uh, on detail symbolism and symbols in the story there is another separate video on my channel so link is above you just click the link and watch its symbolism in the secret shera so that's all hope you understand thank you very much i'll provide you the notes link in the description